So in this video, I'm going to cover how to do bulk updates to tickets and merging of tickets. The most common bulk update we do is deleting tickets. We have one queue in particular that can get hundreds of spam emails if we aren't paying attention. Cosplay. We will often ask staff members that have nothing to do with cosplay to help keep the cosplay queue clear, because if we all keep an eye on it, it really doesn't get that bad. Earlier this year, we actually turned the box off entirely. So there was no spam coming in, there were no emails coming in at all, but we can only do that a few months out of the year for the post-con coma. However, having all of the emails bounce for a few months should reduce the spam a little bit, but it will never eliminate it. So let's do some bulk updates. First, you click on your queue to see your open tickets. I'm going to use cosplay because it has a lot of spam. It's very easy to do bulk updates. I have a lot of spam here. So once you've clicked on your queue, you have this screen, it shows all your tickets. Go up here, you see bulk update, click that button. Notice that it reloads the page with checkboxes. The checkboxes are automatically all clicked. There is also a check all and uncheck all box right at the top. You can check or uncheck whatever you need. In most queues, you would want to uncheck all and then just check the few things that you actually want to update. But in this queue, it's pretty much all spam. So I am going to check all and then uncheck the things that I don't want to update, which is just that one. I've already gone through these and they're all spam except for that one email at the top. So once you've got everything clicked that you want to change, you scroll down, here are the things that you can bulk update. The most common one is change the status. I'm going to change it to deleted and then hit update. So now I have a bunch of deleted tickets. I have three more pages of spam, so I'm going to show you a few more things. Although this is a bulk update, you don't actually have to do more than one if you don't want to. It feels a little silly selecting only one, but you can do it however you want. Just check a box and scroll down to make your changes. It is incredibly important to notice the fact that it did not reset this page. When I scroll down, the status is still deleted. So if you were doing multiple bulk changes, you need to be very, very careful about what you're doing. This becomes a lot more important when you actually go to merge tickets later. So I'm going to delete that one little ticket of spam that I selected. Notice that you can also resolve or open tickets this way. So if you have a bunch of tickets where people have just responded to you, thank you, and now you have three or four tickets that you need to close, this can save you some time. Another thing you can do with this form is actually reply to tickets. It's kind of a rare situation, but occasionally you might have a reason to reply to a bunch of tickets in the exact same way, and you can actually do that down here. Or comment on them, which is the current setting, which is probably safer change it to reply. This one does not actually turn pink, so you need to be very careful about what you're doing there. Another extremely important thing you can do in the bulk update is merge tickets. Sometimes people send the same request more than once, or they remove the ticket info from the subject line and RT just opens a new ticket. There are various situations that can cause it, but it is common to occasionally end up with two or three tickets that really should just be one. So here's how you handle that. We're just going to use our spam. Click, click, click. Let's merge all those tickets into one. Let's fix our deleted down here so that no longer going to be deleted, otherwise they'll disappear. And let's pick a ticket that we want to merge it into. Let's just go the one right above it. You need to know that number. If you don't know that number, you can't merge the tickets. You can click that ticket or not, it doesn't matter. And then scroll down to the very bottom of the form and it's got merging. Notice the warning, merging is a non-reversible action. That is important. Enter your merge ticket and hit update. So we've merged these three tickets into 23227, which if we scroll down and find it, it has merged all those three tickets into this one. It's got all of the email addresses of all of them and it's got all of the ticket history listed out. So if you've got three or four or even just two legitimate tickets that need to be merged together, that is how you do it. Going to reopen. By going into the other ticket, I ended up closing out my bulk update page. 
So I'm going to reopen that because I still have one more thing to show you. And just for kicks, we're going to merge a couple more spam into 23227 because why not? And hit update. So here's where I want to caution you about a feature of bulk update that can cause some real trouble if you aren't paying attention. Remember how the deleted stayed there? So notice if I scroll to the very bottom, now that I've merged these tickets, that number is still there. So say you've merged some tickets and now you want to clean up some spam. If you go and select the spam and change this to delete, that number is still there. What it will actually do is merge those spam into the legitimate ticket and mark it as deleted. That is extremely hard to undo and requires an admin to do it. Be very, very careful when you're merging and deleting or anything. Bulk update keeps its settings so that you can just continue bulk updating until you're done. This is really handy, but it is also really dangerous. This is very permanent unless you have site admin powers and even with them, it's extremely hard and annoying to fix. So be very careful with the bulk update when you're merging tickets. But that's how you bulk update to delete a bunch of things, resolve them, whatever, and merge some tickets. So hopefully that was pretty easy.